Today on Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day, we're going to learn how to make a simple vinaigrette. Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Let's Celebrate TV Basic Skills Day. I'm your host, Peter Lee. Today we're going to learn how to make a simple vinaigrette. You're probably wondering why am I teaching about vinaigrettes when you can buy it from a bottle. This skill teaches you all about balancing flavors and getting creative. And I promise you, once you learn how to make a basic vinaigrette, you're going to get rid of this stuff from the bottle. Let's get started. I have a nice sized bowl here. Now we're going to start off with two egg yolks. Now, don't get upset. I'll talk you through this. First thing you're probably wondering, how do you separate the egg from the white? All I did was I cracked the egg over a smaller bowl and I poured the white into it. And then I poured the yolk into my impeccably clean hands and let the white drip through. Now you can buy all kinds of gadgets, but you don't need them. Use your hands. Easy peasy. So two egg yolks. Now I know some of you may object to raw eggs. It really isn't an issue, but if you really are afraid of raw egg yolks, you can use a tablespoon of Dijon mustard or mayonnaise. That will emulsify too, but it's going to change the flavor. To this, we're going to add some vinegar. Can't have a vinaigrette without vinegar. I have three ounces or 90 mils of apple cider vinegar. That's what I like. But here's the thing. You can change this by changing the vinegar. Now, you've seen apple cider and red wine vinegar, but how about using a balsamic? Or maybe even a white balsamic or a white wine vinegar. You could use a sherry vinegar or a champagne vinegar. It doesn't matter. But once you get this down, play with different vinegars, you get different flavors. So it's going to give this a quick little whisk. And note, I'm whisking side to side and not in a circle. Going side to side is much more efficient and you don't get all the splashing. Now let's add some more flavors. Next up is one teaspoon of dried thyme. I love thyme. Garlic powder is next. A teaspoon. Salt. You need a little salt. Again, one teaspoon. A little black pepper, salt and pepper, right? So I have a half a teaspoon of finely ground black pepper. And finally, some honey, one teaspoon. It's all you need. All this is going to do is tone down the sharpness of the vinegar. And it too will help emulsify, but it's just another layer of flavor. Now, all these ingredients you can change and get different flavors, different types of honey, different types of herbs. So let's give this a whisk, get it going. All right, now we need some oil. I'm using today extra virgin olive oil. You want a strong, robust oil to stand up to these strong flavors. I have six ounces or 180 mils. We're just going to slowly drizzle this in while we whisk, and that's just going to help it all come together and emulsify. Now I keep saying emulsify. What that is, is all of these ingredients coming together and staying together and not separating. And that's what your egg yolk will do or your mustard or mayonnaise. There's always a little bit of separation after they sit for a while, but for the most part, it stays together in one delicious liquid. That last little bit in. That's our vinaigrette. Now I want to taste this for seasoning. I like to taste this, whatever I'm eating it on. So in this case, if I'm going to pour it on a green salad, I have a little piece of lettuce. And the reason I do that is because you're going to be eating it on something. So that's going to affect the flavor. This is pretty good. I want to add just a little bit, a little bit more of me. 
this is optional, I'm gonna add some crystal hot sauce. Just a couple dashes, just like that. What is that gonna do? Again, another layer of flavor. It's gonna add one more little tickle to the back of your palate. It's not gonna make it spicy. But it's an extra little something that you're gonna go, ooh, that was good. And there is our vinaigrette. Now, what are we gonna eat this over? I said salad. I have a nice little tossed salad that I'm gonna put some of these vinaigrette on. But you can have vinaigrette over just about anything. You can use it as a sauce over meat or grilled fish. It's delicious. Also, how about a pasta salad or a potato salad? I have a big bowl of pasta salad I made, and instead of using a gloppy mayonnaise, I want to use a vinaigrette on it. Over this pasta salad. Mmm. I like using vinaigrettes on salads like these instead of mayonnaise or sour cream. I mean, they're really good, but this is somehow lighter. I made up earlier a batch of the same vinaigrette, but with mustard. And it looks slightly different. A little darker color, but it's pretty emulsified still. So we're just going to put a couple little drizzles of this on here. Look how beautiful that is. That is our basic vinaigrette. All right, as always, we will see you on Tuesdays for our regular episodes, Fridays for either basic skills or cocktails, and every other Sunday for our live streams. So until next time, cheers.